we just wanted to ask today, should Cuba be on the list? Should Cuba be off? Juliet Kaim joins me now from Harvard to talk about this. And also joining me is Florida Congresswoman Ileana ross Layton, who is also an outspoken critic of the Cuban regime. So, uh, ladies, welcome. Um, Congresswoman, let me just begin with you. I just quoted part of Juliet's piece in the Globe today. And, and just what are your thoughts on Cuba? Should Cuba stay on this you know, list of terrorism sponsors or, or not? Absolutely, absolutely that Cuba deserves to be on this list. As recently as uh, uh, about uh, 1996, uh, Cuba, and as specifically Fidel and Raul Castro, as leaders of that communist uh, tyrannical regime, ordered the shootdown of uh, U.S. planes in an organization known as Brothers to the Rescue. This, they were on a humanitarian mission over international airspace, and uh, that shootdown resulted in the deaths of three American citizens and one U.S. resident. Uh, they, they were unarmed. Uh, they were not and, and trying to do any, any ill will uh, the Castro regime. This was an act of terrorism that resulted in the deaths of American citizens. Also, there are many acts that they have been uh, uh, complicit in. For example, they give safe refuge and harbor uh, folks from the FARC. This is the uh, uh, Colombian-based uh, uh, terrorism organization and another organization that's a terrorist list, uh, ETA, E-T-A. It's a Basque uh, a separatist movement that uses terror as a, as a method to get to their, right. uh, to their goals. Also, I mean, I could go in a litany of uh, Congresswoman, terrorist Congresswoman, let me, let me stop and, you there. And they give let, me, let me stop you there because you mentioned FARC. Okay. Congresswoman, you mentioned FARC specifically, and so does Juliet in her column. And so, Juliet, if I, if I read your column correctly, and I want you to jump, yeah. to jump in, you say, you, you acknowledge, you know, groups such as FARC, but at the same time, you say, this is a list for terrorism against the United States. You say, that is the big difference with guerrilla groups like this. Yes? Right, and I also separate the past from the present. So part of the reason for the list is not only as a stick to say which countries we don't like, but also to try to get countries to behave better. And so my point in the column is if you look at Cuba today and the dynamics in Cuba as well as the dynamics in the United States and the overtures the Obama administration is making about Cuba, does it still make sense to have Cuba on the same list as with Iran and Syria? And my argument is absolutely not. It doesn't for purposes of Cuban-American relations, if we don't like Cuba, there are plenty of sanctions that we can put against Cuba separately. But to use this term, terror, state sponsor of terrorism, and to be honest, to not have other states on it uh, that you know, like are Pakistan, much more like recently complicit. Pakistan, and look, Libya has been on and off of it. North Korea has been on and off of it. So countries are coming on and off of it. But if you look at it in 2013, where are we now as a nation, both vis-a-vis -vis Cuba as, and, the, and, the, and the important changes the Obama administration has made towards Cuba, as well as uh, what do we want? terrorism to mean. Um, my argument is when well, the list comes out tomorrow, it, we would, I, I think it would be important to say Cuba may be a lot of things, but it is not like Syria. It is not like Iran. Go well, ahead, Congresswoman. I, I, I know you want to jump in there. Okay. I think that the list should be expanded. I think that more countries should be on the list. First of all, on North Korea, I blasted the uh, Bush administration when they wrongfully uh, took North Korea off that list of state sponsors of terrorism. And I have filed since that time, year after year, a bill to once again list North Korea as a state sponsor of terrorism. And when you look at the alliances that today, right now, if you think that this is just Cuba in the past tense right now has with uh, with Iran and with Syria, especially Iran that's trying to get a foothold in our hemisphere, just 90 miles from where I'm sitting. Iran has a, a, a real infrastructure that it's building in the Western Hemisphere, and they're shipping all kinds of equipment, whether it's Venezuela, whether it's Cuba, all over, and that's going to be a problem for the United States uh, later on. Cuba has earned a right to be on that state sponsor of terrorism list. It has also a a U.S. Uh, citizen, Alan Gross, who is languishing in jail right now. Also, they're giving safe passage and harbor to over 70 fugitives from U.S. justice. There's a host of reasons why it belongs on that list, and I hope that the President and the State Department make the right determination to keep it on the list. They belong okay. there. Two, two vastly different opinions here on the issue of Cuba and this, uh, this list of terrorism. Julia Kayyem and Congresswoman Eliana ross and thank you both so much. Thank you. Thank you.